Hey, welcome back, guys. Thanks for joining me in another episode. So I got a really special unboxing that we're going to do and install. Keep watching. So before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. That way you can check back periodically for all of my future content. Be sure to catch up on uh, any videos that you may have missed. There's some really cool stuff out there for the 2018 Mustang and then other platforms as well. Alright, so right in front of me we have four big boxes from Late Model Restoration. I bet you can't guess what's inside. Well, that definitely looks like a wheel. So these are the LMR 350R wheels. It is a liquid graphite finish and they are fitted with the Nitto 555G2s. It's a 285 in the front setup by a 305 in the rear, and these are 19-inch wheels. All right, so here we have the factory wheels, and we're going to swap for the new ones. All right, guys, so just so you can see the difference, got the rear on compared to that. A little bit of tire shine, it'll look pretty good. Uh, they are substantially wider. And this is the, uh, like I said, this is the liquid uh, graphite color, which I haven't seen a lot of these on the Lightning Blue Mustangs. Everybody tends to get black. I chose not to get black this time so I could be a little bit different. And uh, so far, I'm glad that I went that direction because they do look really good. Here is the after. So it's a slightly smaller tire, so it does leave a little bit of wheel gap, but waiting on aftermarket lowering springs that uh, hopefully in a few months will be available for the magnetic ride. But as far as the wheels go, I do love them. I think it's a great color. And uh, I'll show you, give you a close up here in a little bit with the uh, defenders. So late model restoration, so I was on a website that basically they have ensured that the proper offsets were used to fill in the fender gap. And I would have to absolutely 100% agree. They're completely flush front and rear. All right, so here's the shot of the two fronts. So here's the new one. It's considerably larger, a little bit wider. The height of the tire is a little bit shorter, but it is a lot wider. And this is the rear. Well, there it is guys. Uh, wheels are definitely one of those things that you can certainly do to personalize your vehicle. There's all kinds of different options. I really did like the uh, the spoke design that you know that, that was on the actual 350Rs and there's a lot of 350 heritage that kind of goes into this car, some of the styling cues and stuff like that and I really do think that these wheels do look good and set it apart. Um, some, some key things to note here, um, your center caps are not going to transfer to the new wheels. They're a few millimeters smaller versus what comes on this actual aftermarket wheel. Uh, so they're going to jiggle around stuff like that. So I just left the SBE ones that came on it and then left those in place. The wheels themselves are a little bit lighter as well, which is always good for unsprung weight. It's not like a P51 wheel that where they're like, you know, 20, 21 pounds, but I think it's about 25, 25 pound wheel, which is it's a little bit lighter than the OEM stock uh, PPP wheel or PP wheels. 
uh, which I think are about 33, 34, somewhere in that ballpark. So it is a good weight savings. Other than that, I hope that you enjoy the video. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, definitely leave comments, tell me what you think, what you'd like to see on the channel. You know, I'm always in the market for some new mods and stuff like that. What would you guys like to see on the car? Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.